And way back when, somewhere in Timbuktu, a homo sapien found a plant by the name of tobacco, and for whatever reason, somewhere in this dude's caveman brain, he decided, Ugh, me, smoke, now. And that he did. And as humans slowly evolved, smoking did too. And soon, motherfuckers went from looking all old and wise, smoking these big old pipes, to soon smoking cigars on some mafia boss shit, which turned into cigarettes. Now back in the day, if you were stressing, Doc would prescribe you a pack of good old cigarettes. Sore throat? Cigarettes. Oh, you got a cough? Here, smoke a cigarette. But after a while, people's teeth started looking all British and shit, so they decided, Boy, I don't think these are healthy, innit? So we decided we needed to make cigarettes better, and you know what makes everything better? The letter E. Your mail's taking too long to come in? Email. Wait, wait, what's that? You you want to play sports, but your ass at every single sport? Esports. Oh, you got daddy issues? E-girl. So of course, when people realize cigarettes are killing them e-cigarettes man one thing leads to another and shit you got yourself a vaporizer gen y gtx box mod with three usb charging ports a speaker and a six inch led touchscreen that can play flappy bird like vaping is just getting a little too advanced bro like i remember one time i was chilling in the washroom with my homie billy and of course a motherfucker walks in with a vape but this was no regular vape no this shit looked like a gadget straight out of fucking star wars yo you want a hit a, a hit a, a hit of your iphone <laughs> iphone Phone. Pfft, this is that eSmoke FTX 763 third series, my boy. Watch this. Yo, did he just hotbox the whole bathroom in one hit? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes the fuck I did. And this shit's 100, Nick. Holy shit, well, where did you find 100, Nick? Yeah, uh, I ended up mixing my 50, Nick guava juice with my 50, Nick blueberry ice, and it just kind of added up to 100. Bro, I, I don't think that's how it works. Uh, shut up, my mom's calling me. Yo, fuck you, mom. And that was the moment I realized there really is levels to this shit. Level 1. Level 1 is the type of dude who isn't addicted, but he'll occasionally take a hit of somebody's device. But level 2. Bro's borderline addicted, but he's still in the denial phase. Bro, are you addicted to vaping? Addicted? Pfft, nah, nah. I don't even vape like that, bro. Shit. Do five jumping jacks right now. Bro, what? That, that's easy. One. Two. Three. <coughs> four. <coughs> Oh shit, oh, the, the f Level 3, The Fiend. This motherfucker is strapped up with some nicotine at all times, and even when he has a vape in his hand, this dude will ask for yours. And god forbid, if this fiend loses his vape, this motherfucker will be stressing like he just lost his only child. A fiend without a vape is the exact equivalent of one of these purple minions. Dude will be itching for that shit, and lord knows what that man will do for a fix. Level 4, the fiend who sells vapes. At this point, this dude's whole life revolves around vapes. In fact, I'm pretty sure they don't even breathe oxygen anymore. Like, in order to breathe, they need to inhale some chemicals that, that I can't even spell. Which, honestly, it doesn't even say that much. Like, I can't spell a lot of shit, but I'm trying... What I'm trying to say is, their bodies have just fully adapted in order to consume as much nicotine as possible. They breathe that shit, they drink the vape juice, and when they're hungry, shit, they just munch on the vape itself. And the worst part is, they can't even run out of vapes. Like shit, they are the plug. This motherfucker's just the CEO of getting high on his own supply. Like dude is his own number one customer. Level 5. This motherfucker, bro. Like why do you need a LED touchscreen on your vape, bro? Like you already have a phone. Wait, wait, wait. Did did you just order that pizza from your vape? Mm -hmm. Shit, Where, where'd you get this from? And don't get me started on these flavors, bro. Like, tell me why these motherfuckers can make a vape juice and call that shit early riser. And that shit literally tastes like a Wednesday at 6 a.m. Like, what the fuck type of ingredients mixed together to taste like a Wednesday at 6 a.m.? But early riser isn't even the weirdest flavor on the market, because if you're feeling the family dinner vibes, you can get a rotisserie chicken flavor. Or if your breath is smelling nice and fresh, you could fuck that shit up quick with some garlic flavor juice. And they even got bacon. Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that shit sounds fire as fuck. And lastly, now nah, I don't even know if I can say this on YouTube right now, but shit. You can even get yourself some Worcestershire. Wor wor Worcestershire. Wor Worcestershire. Worcestershire. But regardless, I think we all know the home of nicotine. The eternal hotbox. The communal vape sesh. It's the high school bathrooms, man. You walk into one of these joints and there's at least 15 dudes hotboxing that shit at like 10 a.m. You come in trying to take a piss and now you got a head rush. You, you, you walk over to the urinals, but it's so goddamn hotbox, you start pissing all over the walls. But shit, you can't even piss on the walls in peace, man. You got that 
one fiend coming over to you trying to suck your device dry and dude's so down bad for that hit that that's not the only thing he'd suck dry and listen you may be thinking chains uh how do you know what you know about vaping and that's a great question back in the day i was a curious little george man and back in grade seven i was chilling at my friend becky's house and when i walked into becky's crib i was nothing but an innocent curious young man but little did i know i would leave becky's crib far different than i entered so you know me bob and billy are posted in becky's room and i was sitting with becky so becky asked me have you ever hit a vape before hell no i hadn't but you know i had to play it cool around becky so i said yeah <clears throat> Yeah, 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 I, I do that shit all the time. And so, of course, she passes me the vape. And honestly, I didn't think this far ahead, but I was in way too deep to come clean now. So I put that shit in my mouth, and I sucked the fuck out of it. Pause. And because this was the first time anything had made contact with my lungs beside oxygen, my lungs started malfunctioning. And I was coughing up a storm, and my cool guy cover was blown, but... I had to see it through. Oh my god, are you okay? <laughs> this shit ain't nothing for a guy like me. Guys, guys, I had to change his mind. And as I went on with my life, I would hit a device here and there, and eventually I even learned some tricks and shit. But one day, me and my homie had to run to catch a bus. And so we start running, but the homie doesn't even make it a hundred meters, and he starts rolling on the floor, coughing up blood. And I was like, yeah, no, yeah, yep, yeah, no, no, fuck that. And you know, I have...